Anybody interested in a potion? A potion? 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 Health potion. Keep you healthy and revitalized. Oh, I... No, no, you're not interested in it? Okay. Are you, sir? Are you, sir? Huh? Huh? Hey, I got a potion. Oh, good. It'll, it'll, um... It'll, it'll enhance your performance in bed. Nope. Okay. How about a potion for you, sir? Potion? Potion? Health potion? How about you, sir? A health potion? Oh, ma'am. Sorry. Health potion? Come on. I know somebody wants a health potion. It'll cure your wrinkly old bones. Or creaky old bones. Uh, how about you, sir? You want the potion? Come on. One potion. It's a potion. I guess not. Among the stars of the night, there are there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared, and I can read that. They called them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon, a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This... okay. Among the settlers, two groups si uh, shied... Shined brightest. Okay, merchants and water. But the dungeons uh, proved too dangerous. They were soon closed to the. Okay, life became hard for the town, especially for the. Okay, the owner of the shop, long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Nah, I read that one fine. <laughs> Okay. Enter the gent dungeon. Now, I can get my stuff and go. Oh. Yes, the stick moves me. That's good. Smash. L trigger dodge button. Got it. Put up. Okay. You can dodge over gaps. Cool. You can dodge through enemies. Cool. Dodge through bullets. Attack. <laughs> Beware the power of my broom. was a bad move. Why, do I, why would I want to do that? What is my heal button? R trigger? There we go. Yes. Give me your treasure! The junk that's uh, all in the boxes. Woo! Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> so many shots at my way! 
This is a little unfair. Ah. 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 I don't think I'm supposed to win this. I don't think I was supposed to win that. They just kept on sending them and sending them. Ugh. Dang it. Ooh. Oh, a dead boy. I might as well take him. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will. I have you now. I have you now in my clutches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I got some starting goods. That's good. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. Yeah. There is no doubt you can, uh, you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did your little merchant bite off more than he can chew? Uh, he's, I know he said managed, but it's the phrase is bite off more you can chew. Uh, Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth floor nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts and use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take the... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's mine from back when in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. It's dangerous to, al to go alone. Take this. Excellent Zelda reference. Now then, you don't. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of these, the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. I can't open my chest yet. Alright. Alright, Will. Let's get this day over. Sad, sorry looking. Yo, being 20, or like a young guy, it is uh, weird that he has white hair. But, okay. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop and allow a customer in. Okay. Whole day to open shop. Ah, welcome, welcome. Hey, what can I sell you? Come on, come on, come on. Buy some, buy some, buy some. Oh yes, that's an excellent crystal. You definitely want it, right? Yes. Yep, yeah, there you go. Did you see that? Best, the best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. 
That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, how you doing? You want this crystal, right? Yeah, you definitely want it, right? 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 What? I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information. You have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Oh, oh, he was continuing his sentence. That's what happened there. Okay. So. Got it. Searching through a golem crystallizes upon its destruction. Could we harness this power somehow? I don't know. It would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up. Uh, you will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls on. That falls to you, not I. This ain't my shop. I'd be running it a lot better. Then your blood will make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant boy. Alright, yeah, sure. Fine. D did you just kick me out of my own house? Go on now, these very bones of mine must rest. You kicked me out of my own house! <laughs> I'm gonna be a menace to the sound. Alright. To the dungeon! What's this? Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, mini-map down in the corner, um, still the best place to put me, uh, <laughs> that's good. This way. This is a dead end. Okay. Oh, one, two, better not two. Ha! Ah! Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you you creatures look friendly. <laughs> die! Die! <laughs> yes, give me your, uh, your materials. Ow. How dare you hit me! Ooh. Yeah, I got, I got another golem crystal. Yes. Yeah, this is a very linear dungeon. What? Didn't drop anything. Ow! Ow! Give me that. Ah, I need some health potions. Oh no! I'm locked in with goop. Yeah, that's a pretty deep hole. Hmm. Ah! I squished a bug. <laughs> cool. Oh. Stick.
Hmm. And it looks like it's Adventurers of Past Fallen in Battle. Let's see. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete. Done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that great locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Renoka. Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't feel around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, help open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay, then what do they seem? Big Bosh gonna kill me! I suppose to let them all out! Not have! Now have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs! Ah, Big Bosh gonna be so upset with little old me! Okay, cool. Oh. So it takes money to teleport out. That's what I got from that. Do I have enough money to teleport out of here? Because I am stuck. Yes, I killed 11 creatures. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, come back home. Hey, old man! I came back! I know how to use the pendant now. Uh, that's good. For good. Uh, oh, the young proprietor of Moonlighter. Roll credits. Has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Hmm. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You... you found old Pete? Hmm... Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will! Just get the artifacts you need for, uh, from the Golem dungeon, and look after Moonlight. Hmm. Now... I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life there in Rhinoka. I wish that's actually how uh, jobs work. Like, people, like, crowdfund people who are interested in moving a job into the area because uh no it's not like how that's not how it happens nice indeed nice okay <laughs> tree tree Are you 
following me? Because I know your, where your son is. He's down here. Oh, well. I'll check out the board. Investments. Town or shop? Alright, so we got Vulcan's Forge. The wooden hat. Is... Is brute force getting you nowhere? In the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and that. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Try a uh, tired of your old weapon. I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials. A forge to be reckoned with. I do not have enough money for either. So... Yeah. Okay! Let's, uh... You know... Let's, uh... Get this off of there. Because... Okay. Hmm... A hundred... It seemed like a hundred was perfect for that. But this one... Okay. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Hmm, 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 hmm. So, rich jelly. Yeah, that's five dollars at the bottom. Or five gold at the bottom. Hmm. Uh... If I remember correctly, I probably want to keep those. Okay. Okay. So, the vine is the cheapest, and that's two, do uh, two gold at the bottom. Then it's teeth stone root. Okay, so what I'll do, since this one is two. Yeah. Since that one's at the bottom with two gold, I will start it off at five. And see what happens. Then, oh wait, I can open up. Uh, I can op open up my journal from here. That's good. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, Golem Core is underneath ener crystallized energy. So, let's say. 75 for the gold, or the core. I just need to find the sweet spots. Gonna take me, like, a couple tries, but... And I believe Iron Bar was halfway down for that, so I'll say 50 for that for now. And that'll be my starting product. Oh, I have potions. I didn't know that. Gold runes, fabric, broken sword. Read. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I found. Alright, uh, time for bed. Alright, time for a new day. Uh, let's get this... Get this over with. Uh, And open! Oh, hey, hi, welcome. I didn't know I had a line outside. Hey, you want to buy something, right? Oh, come on, come on in, come on in, come on in, yes. Oh, you want this bar, right? Oh, too high. Okay, then. It's, uh... Lower that price, then. 
by 30. I'll lower it down to 30. See what happens. Crystal? Yes, yes, you definitely want the crystals. Oh, that was a good price, huh? Oh. I for... I didn't... Oh, he reluctantly bought it. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need... I need to start putting things one at a time. Evil merchant. Just so you know, I have played this game before, and I loved it so much that I'm replaying it. So, I think what I need to do is sell one at a time to find out what's what. So, what about this sword? Broken sword. Ooh, higher than the crystallized energy. Uh, let's say... Oh, wait, hold on. 275. If that's 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hmm. That's 3 in, so... Like halfway to the 275 mark? Possibly. Hmm. So, uh. Math, math, math. Uh, say 150. So I'll say that's 250. Fabric is 250. Let's test that theory. Alright. And this one. Mm. Two fifty. Uh the let's add seventy-five to this. So one seventy-five. Just testing prices. Okay. Now, let's take... Oh, I already got one root here. Alright, let's take... One of the teeth stone. I want to find out how much that is. Vine, huh? Alright, so let's uh, put it at 10. I want to find out. Hey, hey! You want, you want one of these excellent items. No, you look like a soldier. You're looking for something good. Too much? Okay. Okay. Fine then. Um, let's uh, lower the price then. Uh, not ten. How about seven? Finding the sweet spots here. Oh, fabric I got perfectly correct. So. I am just going to leave that there and be happy with it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you want this fabric? It's a nice deal. Indeed it is. Oh, ha, ha. I knew you would be happy with that. Let's, uh... Ooh, find out what these sticks are worth. <laughs> yes, I am selling sticks at a shop. Alright, so more than Teeth Stone, so I'll start this one at 10, since Teeth Stone wasn't 10. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. You want some stuff, right? I got the stuff. Yo, you want this, like, root looking thing, right? Right? No, you look like a warrior. You wanted a weapon, didn't you? Hey, hey, how you doing? You want a stick, right? You you definitely need a that beating stick for your husband, right? In case he uh gets on your nerves or whatever. Oh, hey, merchant. Yes, I just put that up there. How, how do you like it? No? Uh, reluctantly? Okay, well then. Ah. Uh. Okay. So he reluctantly took that. So let's bring that down to five. And if that one is five, oops, that one's five, then this one probably is like four. I'll, I'll say four for now. 
and reluctantly. Okay. Well then, that means that one's not four, it's three. Let's try three. Oh, man. Okay, so, broken sword. Not... Not, a uh, 175. Let's go to down to 150. Nope. Uh, one more. There we go. And in, I think he reluctantly took that one, so... Let's take that and lower the price. You reluctantly take it. Of course, now the demand is low for it. Two is the lowest I can go on this. Yeah, popularity is low now. And I imagine this one probably is three now. Hey, hey, welcome! Come on in, come in, in. Oh, you want one of these things, right? You want... Oh, you want the broken sword? Yeah, take the broken sword! Oh, perfect price! Got it! Perfect price for the root. That's good. Alright. In that case, let's, uh... Put that... The rest of that stack in, and put that in. Cool. Hi, old lady. You still want that beating stick for your husband? Oh, please, come on. You need it. You want it. You can't live without it. I imagine, actually, this stick is probably not 10. Hold on. Yeah, if... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring that down to 5. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, hey, you want a beating stick for your boyfriend, right? Ooh, yes? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, perfect price. Cool. I will put that stack onto the table, and it is perfect. Perfect. Got it. Ah, uh, thank you. Come again. All right. Did I, uh... Figure this one out yet? No, I haven't. How about this one? A oh, weight stone. Root. I sold the root for five, so let's, uh... I reluct... They reluctantly took the iron bar for 30. So, it's between five and three. 30, or probably less than 30, so 5 and 25, 5 and 20? Let's start it with 15. Oh, you're finally taking the beating sticks! You just needed a lot more, huh? He keeps on breaking through them, don't, aren't they, huh? Come on in, come on in! I have plenty of wares. And I guess I can give a estimation on this one. Oh, hundred over a uh, two hundred and seventy-five. Okay. Well then, let's start it off at three hundred. Hi, welcome, welcome. Hey, you need some stones, right? I got some stones right here. Yeah, you want that. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I couldn't get rid of this grass otherwise. Ooh, you want this, right? You want it, huh? Yeah, perfect, perfect. If 
found the perfect price for that one. I think. Pretty sure. Oh, no, it wasn't the perfect price. So the perfect price for this one is actually four. It has to be. Because it didn't give me the, yes, it was the perfect price. Oh, even the vine, man. Okay. I have to raise the price on the vine, then. Ah, man. Excellent day of work. Ah. I had 20 customers. No robberies. That's good. Well, they wouldn't give me robberies this early. I made a total of 2,090. That is awesome. Ha <laughs> ha! Excellent. Alright, let's, um... I still need to find out the total on that one, so... That one, let's give a good guess. Uh... Oof, uh, I sold the golden cores for far too less. But if if it's more than 75 on this one, let's say 75 for the water sphere. All right, excellent. <sighs> All right, another day. Another raid out of the dungeon. After I, uh... Purchased these, uh, two buildings. Wow, that's, um, pretty quick, uh... Construction work, man. You, you. Oh no! Yes, yes. Come on. Like it's not even the next day. He, they're, they're just coming in. All right. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. There we go. Fix up the building a little, and there we go. All right. Cool. I. I. You must be Will, no? Though one who requested my forge? My name is Andri. Andri? Okay. Forge Master Extraordinaire! If it's weapons your or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shoot. I already sold all my stuff. To, uh... To gain money. I technically could buy that. Oh no, I can't. I need weapons. Huh. Well. Let's see, I can... I need to just start building up a stockpile of stuff. That's, uh, that's interesting. Sup? You look like a potion shop. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, a customer. My apologies. Uh, my apologies. It's just this book. It's so good. Oh, yes, I am Eris. Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the Wooden Hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? Potions, let's see. Ha ha ha! Yes, I knew keeping that. Yeah, keeping that uh, red goo is good for something. I can straight up buy it or just make some. I can only make two. Oh, wait, no. Huh? Yeah, I only made two. I didn't have a lot. But, health is better than nothing. What are your options in enchantments? Uh, 
You need materials. I need to start stockpiling materials. Alright. Golem Dungeon. Right here. Oh, poor dead bastard. Come here! Come here! Oh, I got a shield? Okay, wow. Come on! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! Ha Oh. Oh, sorry, I destroyed your body. The golems lurking amongst these stone walls are sturdy, but all their combat abilities are clumsy and easy to protect. Some of these guys can proper stun you if they land a hit, though. Okay, good for... Thank you for the tip. Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm good. What is, what is this next room? Ha! some product. Ow. Ah, I keep on forgetting that's not the shield. There we go. Now, ah, what's in the box? Ooh. Artifact must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. Alright, some item modifiers. That's, uh, interesting. There we go. Hmm. Uh, yep, let's keep on going right. I, I have a good feeling. Ooh. Healing, 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 healing. Thank you. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stones are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most precious, uh, most basic tools keep vanishing? Okay, I, I have a feeling that that's uh, a special way, a way I need to go. off of my stuff. This is my stuff. Get let go of that. Oh. Ha. ha! I need a stronger weapon. I feel like those guys need to be dead in one hit, not two. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, some more stuff that needs to be on the bottom of the chest. Okay. Uh, let's go left here. Ooh, okay. Um, I, I, I guess just, uh, Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Rhinoka. A small and incredible charming village just north of the crater. 
and they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter the dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person, and never the same labyrinth twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many rights, uh, many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some gold, some fame. But not I. No, it's all about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change? And why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what. I'm here for the how and why. No, 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 that's, uh, that's one person. Uh, that's a way to think about it. And... Smash the bug! <laughs> oh. Ah! Haha! Woo! Ow! You suck! <laughs> Ow! You suck! Ow! Ah! Ah, it's a mimic! Ah! Back away! Ah! Ow! Ah! 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 Thank you for giving more health. Uh, I might as well use one. Ow! Oh, you're stealing my stuff. Alright. Oh no. I destroyed a skeleton that had more stuff. Okay, cool. Alright, let's check my bag. Yeah, I only have five potions. Oh no, I have ten potions. Five potions are on me, or currently. Okay. Alright, uh, uh... Forest. What? Haha! -ha! You did not give me anything! This was a useless venture! Oh, I accidentally used the potion. Yes. Okay. So if I attack these guys on an angle, they can't hit me. <laughs> oh, what was that one? Oh, it was it was a rod on top of that. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. All right. Huh? Ah, come here. Come here. A little bit closer. Come on. Come on. Aha! All right. All right there's only one door. Oh. I found the boss room. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ah. Ow. Uh, heal. Ah. 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 Ow. Ow. You hurt like. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ah. Ow. That hurt. Ah. 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 Ha <laughs> I mean Oh, I can't pick up everything. Hold on, hold on. Is there something I can drop that is a wonder? Yeah, I can drop that. Question, why it Okay. Why didn't they stack ahead of time? I don't know. Can they stack up to five? No. Or only to five, I mean. 
Uh, yeah. Let's go through. What was this? This is one of the strange devices that creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich, actually. This one's rich, actually. Most, almost quite literally rich. For every item you place into this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. It's great if you need to use your pendant in a pinch. The device looks like a mirror, so I'm... So I am just gonna call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder, though, where do the treasures drop go inside go? And am I getting the best deal here? No, you're not. Uh, I, I bet so. It's just for quick money. Items go in, money comes out. So technically, I don't really need to do the shop. I just need to like keep on going through. Um, my bag is full, so I am gonna head on out. Yeah, I killed thirty-seven enemies, including one boss. This is good. Go to town. Alright, before I open up shop, I want to see if I can buy, uh, like, make some more weapons. Because mm -hmm. I definitely need some armor and weapons, that's for sure. Okay, so, there's some that increase speed and some that increase health. Okay, I think at most I want most health, but I don't want to lower my speed too much. So I want to go the median one. Ooh, 4,000 gold though. Oh man. I don't even have the money for any of these. Cheapskate? Man. Okay, what have we got? Who are you? The Le Retailer. Tired of looking for items in the dungeons? Leave that job to others and come to Le Retailer. Where you'll find the finest items in Rhinoka. Le Retailer because life's complicated enough. Sure, but uh, you cost too much, dude. Uh, what, what's the, I haven't even chose the shop option. Ah, I can upgrade my shop. That's what the shop option is. Cheap sale box? Okay. Iron cash register? Ooh. Okay. Oh, so I can't invade people's homes? Oh, thanks a lot. Who are you? Mori. Have you found any new cultural artifacts in the dungeons, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from entirely different civilizations with unique cultures. Interesting. I, I need some more potions. As many as you can make me. I need to start a stockpile. By the way, how much did this cost? 120. I don't have enough space. But it cost me 125 gold for a potion. How much can I sell them for? They cost me 125. How much can I sell them for? <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Uh, uh, actually, I'm probably gonna need, uh, hold, hold on, I'm gonna need this stack here. Cloth, that. Already got a full stack of that, so that's good. Keep these, keep that. I think some vines were necessary. As for the rest, I can sell. Yeah. All right. Now, um, yeah. Okay. Let's open shop. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, I forgot to put an item on the shelf. Hold on. If I remember correctly, I undersold that. I undersold it. Let's uh, bring it up to 90 and make this one 95. There. Hey, welcome, welcome. What do you like? I got teeth. I got orbs. I got weight stones. I got rocks with letters on them. Come on, come on. You need something. Oh, you want that, don't you? Yes. Thank you. Oh, and that was a perfect price for that, too. Okay. Now, let's see here. Let's see if it actually was a perfect price. Yes! Perfect price. Nice. Uh, I believe I found the perfect price for that already. So, let's do that. Yep. Yeah. Hi, welcome, welcome. What would you like? What would you like? You want some rocks to throw at the kids at, that keep on going at your yard? Oh, yeah, perfect. Let's put that over there. Thank you for your patronage. Have a great day. Come again. Oh, you need a weight stone to sharpen your knife. Oh, fair enough. That hasn't sold yet, so I can't find that out. But, uh, I want to try this one. This one I'll make 95. Just in case. Ah, thank you for your patronage. Come again, sir. Hey, hey, you, you want some glass, don't you? You need a glass or a broken sword. You bring... Man, old man, you you just came in here. You want more? Oh, 90. Are you Okay, was that a per perfect price though? Perfect price. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. You keep on coming in and buying me out. Man, you must be rich. Oh, yes, old lady. You come uh husband uh causing you trouble again? How about uh, get some glass to burn his shoes to pieces? Ah, yes, a crystal. Awesome. Crystal's always good. Ooh. You're here for the stones. Okay. Thank you, and uh, thank you. Uh, I need to put some more stuff up. I need to find out if that's the right price for that. I haven't found that one out yet. This one... Hmm... Like, like the vine was probably three. Two is too little, since two is the line below it. So this one is probably, that one's 300. I'm going to say 290. Find out. Okay. This one, where is this one located? White stone above broken sword. Mm, I'm gonna say 175 on that one. Yeah, 175 on that one. All right. 
Welcome, welcome, come right in. Please, have a look at what to I have to offer. Oh, you're interested in this water ball, huh? Oh, I uh, sold it for too little. That's good. Um, Ninety. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, raise it up to eighty. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, perfect price for the glasses. For glass? Yes, perfect price. First try. All right. Snipe to that one. Come here. I wonder if that was the perfect price for that one. Ah, I'm pretty much out of product. Oh, still too little. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe 85? Perfect price. Cool. Ah, I need somebody to look at these, uh, these stone, this white stone here. Come on. Tell me, tell me. Is this a good price for this? Please. Oh, oh, oh. Is it? Hey. Oof. Um. Okay. Well then. Did I just caught it in time before she took it off the shelf? Oh well. I'm only gonna let her have it for that price. It's fine. Um. Let's see. Uh. If 175 was too little. Let's go up to 200. There we go. 200. Is it too much? Too little? Let me know. Still too little. Oh, dang. Um, I need to get some product. Uh, hold on. Hmm. <laughs> well, what can I sell? I can always get more potions. I, w I wonder if how much I can sell a potion for. Because I spent 125 to make the potion. Let's see if I can sell it for... Hmm. Like Five dollars is that little. Let's see if I can sell it for... What is the top price here? Come on. Ah! Does not help me one bit. Uh, uh, let's go for twice the price, so 250. There. Anybody interested in a potion? A potion, 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 health potion. Keep you healthy and revitalized. Oh, I, no, no, you're not interested in it? Okay. Are you, sir? Are you, sir? Uh, uh. Yeah, I got a potion. Oh, good. It'll, it'll, um... It'll, it'll enhance your performance in bed. Nope. Okay. How about a potion for you, sir? Potion? Potion? Health potion? How about you, sir? A health potion? Oh, ma'am. Sorry. Health potion? Come on. I know somebody wants a health potion. It'll cure your wrinkly old bones. Or creaky old bones. Uh... How about you, sir? You want the potion? Come on. One potion. It's a potion. I guess not. 23 customers. I made 3,225. I might as well take this back for right now. I need a lot more product. Ugh. Okay, come on. Oh, boy. It's an excellent day for work. I think it's time to hit the hay. And leave the dungeoneering. Oh shoot, I should've... I should've dungeoneered. <laughs> well... Uh, too late now. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, have, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, if you... 
like this game, and I like it, please let me know and I'll continue playing this one. And, uh, yeah. Have a good night, have a good evening, and have a good morning. Bye.